So what foods are low in oxalates? Well, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you a complete list, but before we do that, let's talk about the things you're not supposed to eat. And if you eat these things, if you've never had a kidney stone, just so you know what it feels like, right on the side of your flank, it feels like your ex is putting a dull knife back there and it is so sharp and it's radiating around kind of into your groin and it's as if someone's putting a knife into your manhood. And then when you go to the doctor's office, well, you first of all, you never end up in the doctor's office. Usually you end up in the ambulance on your way to the emergency room. When you get to the emergency room, they usually do a CAT scan. So they just radiate the daylights out of the area where your groin is and your gonads, all that stuff. And then they tell you, well, we can give you morphine and you're just gonna have to pee it out. There's nothing we can do. So if you like that type of situation, then, uh, you know, good luck to you. So here is a short list of what you definitely should not be eating. It is spinach, beets, avocados, almonds, figs, turmeric, and pineapple. Now there are many other foods that have oxalates in them, but those are the big ones that most people tend to have problems with. So what you do is you stay away from those and here's a list of ones you can eat. You can eat bananas, you can eat blackberries, you can eat blueberries, you can eat strawberries, you can eat apples, you can eat apricots, you can eat lemons and peaches. And those are the fruits that you are allowed to eat. Now let's talk about the vegetables. You can eat broccoli, you can eat cauliflower, you can eat carrots, you can eat beans, you can eat green beans and potatoes, and everyone's favorite, the super tasty kale. Gotta love the kale. Everyone's into kale these days. Kale is the new superfood of the past couple years. And the last one that if you wanna start a fight, then get a botanist and a nutritionist together and see if they'll agree on whether a tomato is a fruit or a vegetable. By the way, what do you consider a tomato? Is it a fruit or is it a vegetable? Depending on who you are. Today's video sponsor is Mother Good Earth and they are a great company because they are first of all sponsoring this video and second of all they have the greatest minerals ever and they have a philosophy of minerals come from the earth so where do you get it from the earth and so watch what I'm gonna do here. We're just gonna go down. It rained the other day. You just take a nice cup here and just scoop up some mud and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this mother earth with water and drink it to get all the minerals that come from the earth. So you could see I just mixed it with water and all the chunky goodness is in there. Beautiful for minerals. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Screw this. I don't need the money. No more sponsorship. Okay guys, good news. I have a new sponsor, Buy Optimizers, and they have Magnesium Breakthrough. This actually I do use. I take two tablets at nighttime. It helps me sleep. It's got seven different minerals. Now, of course, Mother Earth supplies minerals in the dirt, but it needs to come into the vegetables. And if the soil isn't good, if you're not eating organic vegetables, you're not getting as many minerals as you really should be. So that's why I take two tablets. It's got 500 milligrams of magnesium in it. And it's got seven different types of magnesium. I, the reason I take this is for a number of reasons. It regulates my blood pressure. It keeps my heart healthy, which is an endurance athlete I really want. And it helps me sleep. It's easy on the stomach, easy to digest, no digestive trouble. And this is actually a sponsor that I could stand by. Oh man, who's gonna clean up these chunks? Kidney stones are not something that you want. Now, if you have a tendency to form kidney stones, there might be a reason. It could be dietary, could be genetic, could be a number of reasons. But if you also have high blood pressure, I'm gonna give you a gift right here in a box. I'm gonna give you my complete guide to lowering blood pressure. This is gonna give you everything for free. This is important because of all the things that are preventable. It's really heart attacks and strokes. The number one reason why people have those is because they have undiagnosed or uncontrolled high blood pressure. And many people never even consider trying to naturally lower the blood pressure. So 
hit the box right there, get a pen and paper handy because everything on there is free. You just gotta get to work. So thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, bell notification, I am out.